Hello and welcome to Pops to Milk Crochet, where I share crochet patterns, tutorials, and inspiration. In today's video, I'm going to share how I made my crochet shroom shrug. I've got tutorials on the individual mushroom appliques, so if you want to check those out, I'll leave links in the description. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss videos like this one. Now on to the shroom shrug! The idea for this shrug came to me when I was brainstorming for a hobby yarn campaign challenge. I was given a bunch of their friends cotton yarn to create something for the hobby applique challenge. I did some google searches to get my creative juices flowing and to see what kind of designs were trending. I was debating on whether to go for flowers, cacti, succulents, fruit, or mushrooms. Around the same time, I remember seeing some really cool and beautiful crochet shrugs and sweater sleeves and that's when it hit me. Shroom Shrug. I knew I wanted to make a very lightweight and airy shrug that could be worn year-round, so that would mean using a lacy stitch like filet crochet. I also knew I wanted to make individual squares to sew together as opposed to crocheting the entire shrug in one piece. Why? Well, a couple of reasons. I didn't know how I wanted the shrug to fit, and I didn't want to invest too much time and effort having to frog and redo the whole thing. There are two ways to start the squares. As you saw in the first version, I started with a foundation chain and a single crochet into each chain. Then in the next row, I started the double crochet filet crochet sequence. The single crochet row will later create the border or the edging on the sleeves and the top. Now in this next version, I started with a foundation chain of 34 chains, but instead of working single crochet stitches, I went straight into filet crochet, skipping 5 chains, and working a double crochet into the 6th chain from the hook. These squares will be the inside squares, as I'm calling them. Sometimes I just want the design process to be easy, even if it means having to sew a bunch of squares later. Making squares and sewing them later also gave me the chance to create a size template for myself for future shrugs or sweaters, so now I know what the dimensions and the gauge should be. Another reason for the squares is that I wanted the mushroom appliques to be lined up over the sleeves, but again, I wasn't entirely sure of how I would place them or how I would incorporate them into the design. Would I crochet the mushroom and then build the square around the mushroom? I tried this and I absolutely hated how it looked. After trying different designs, I decided on a simple flat mushroom that I would later sew onto a square. Like I said, sometimes I just want a super easy solution when I'm designing. Now it's time to weave in all these ends. So these ones with the single crochet foundation row are going to be the edges. So for the front and the back, it's gonna be like this. So that's the bottom part of the front piece. So this is the front. So it's gonna go something like this. This goes up across the front and then this becomes a sleeve and the sleeves are going to be made up of three squares around I believe like so. This is going to be a shoulder so I'm just going to leave this kind of like off to the side here so it doesn't get confused uh, but sleeves go like this. sleeves I'll have four of four by three of the double crochet squares and then for the sleeve ends or the edges I'm going to use the three of the single crochet foundation rows. So once I had made all the squares I needed I started laying them out on my dress form to see how the neckline and shoulders would be in which angle and direction each square would be sewn on. I've got all of the double crochet squares and 
And then at the bottom for the edging, I'll have the single crochet squares, single crochet foundation squares, like so. And I want to make sure that these squares um, actually should go more like this. Because this is going to be more of the shoulder part. This is kind of going to go around the front of the shoulder, back of the shoulder. And then this is going to be the top part of the arm. So this will be the side slash the underside. So the seam on the underside is going to go along those two. So that's that's kind of the plan. This is how I'm envisioning the sleeve to go. Now I just need to sew it and see how it turns out. Okay, so here is the neckline. I worked single crochet stitches all the way around and then I followed up by uh, working single crochet and chain, single crochet chain. So basically the beginnings of a moss stitch. And then on the front part and back, so that was just for the shoulder parts. And then for the front and back, I just worked a uh, slip stitch into the single crochet stitches just to keep it from stretching too much. With those chains in between, the half moss stitch, that's also going to keep this from continuing to stretch. And it sort of created a bit of a um, capped shoulder almost, which is really nice. And um, it's, it's still <laughs> big enough space for me to fit my head through the hole and also uh, sits nicely on my shoulders. So the next thing I'm going to do before I actually sew the sleeve seams together is I'm going to sew my appliques onto the sleeves because I think it'll be a lot easier to sew these on while this is still flat. So I'm going to place these and sew them on. I sewed the mushroom appliques to the sleeves before sewing the seams together. At one point, I found out I could use my embroidery hoop to hold the sleeve fabric in place while I sewed the appliques on. Finally, after sewing the appliques on, I sewed the seams and the shrug was done. Because I used a fingering weight cotton yarn, the finished shrug turned out so comfortable and soft. The drape is just, it feels like heaven. The best part is that now I have a pattern template that I know fits me and I can work with for future projects. I highly recommend doing this if you're new to making your own crochet garments. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the making of my crochet shroom shrug and have found some inspiration to make your own crochet clothes and accessories. I'd love to hear your thoughts and of course, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.